What you see behind me is a very unique opportunity we have through a Department of Energy funded project to test out the standard SAE J2953. This standard covers how an electric vehicle and electric vehicle charge station talk to each other. It will give us data on communication patterns as well as current information, voltage, and timing patterns. What's uniquely exciting about this opportunity is that Intertech is currently the only lab in the industry performing this type of testing. We have 11 vehicles provided by different OEMs to be tested with all the charge stations you see behind me. We have so many of them just because they have different ratings, different voltages perhaps, or different currents that they operate at, as well as different safety circuitry and operating systems. This round robin approach will give us a wide array of data to be used to show how effective the new SAE standard is. The procedure includes a wide variety of tests from mechanical interoperability, meaning how easily does the plug mate with the car, to other types of electronic testing. We're doing voltage surges up to 175% of the rate of voltage to see how the car and charge repair interact with each other or restart after that sort of a surge. There's also other things such as voltage dips where you go to no voltage at all. We are trying to simulate real world conditions to include lightning strikes or brownouts on the grid. A typical test flow starts with a program power input from a supply that powers the charge station. The charge station plugs into the interoperability panel, which has been supplied to us by our partners at the National Laboratories. The panel acts as the intermediary between the charge station and the vehicle. The two talk to each other all throughout the charge session, and if the vehicle accepts a charge, it gives us reporting information at the end of the session about timing and communication. The current test schedule is set to go through the end of calendar year 2014, at which time SAE will compile all the test results and release them anonymously to the community. What's really interesting about this is we've seen a large amount of participation from the industry. On the OEM side, we have domestic as well as foreign OEMs who have donated cars for us to use during this period. As far as electric vehicle charge equipment goes, we have participants from large-scale international manufacturing companies all the way down to the small mom and pop shop which is going to really help us get all the data we need to show how effective the standard is.